Hey, what's up guys? I have been learning so many lessons this year. And one of the big ones was how to love myself. It's been a while since I really did some things to really just start catering to myself. And this month was the first month that I've actually been able to really do that. Last night, I decided to take myself out on, I guess a date you could say. But really, I just wanted to go out and just do some things for myself without there being somebody else there for me to cater to and really just hang out. So ultimately, I ended up going to this place called Nomad, which is like a hookah lounge off of West Summer, close to the Galleria Mall area. I decided to only bring my Osmo Pocket. It's not the same quality as what you guys are used to for me, but it's a smaller camera and people don't necessarily stare at me whenever I use it. So I decided to just kind of be a little more chill this time. Now I'll be honest with you, like usual, I did order chicken and waffles and the chicken and waffles here are really not that good. I'm not gonna lie. The chicken had way too much breaded seasoning on it and then the season on the bread wasn't really popping like that. It really just tasted like the only thing they put was salt and pepper on it. And then the waffle was just like a basic waffle. So altogether, I don't remember how much it cost, but altogether it really didn't feel that worth it. I mean, now at least the hookah was kind of busting though. The hookah definitely was hookah in and it was about $36. So me, I guess you could say I'm kind of an expensive date because all together, just by my, dining by myself was about 60 bucks. I do like the decorations that was there at Nomads with all the graffiti and everything and then a couple floor decorations. That was pretty cool. But all together, I would say I'd get Nomads maybe like a six and a half out of 10 because I kind of feel like I could have had a better time if the food tasted better or something like that. But anyways, that wasn't the point of making this video. The reason why I'm making this video today, guys, is because I want to give you guys some positive takeaways from being in a toxic relationship because that's what I just got out of and I'm learning some really cool stuff about myself now that I'm out of that crazy relationship and I just want to help others get through it too. I know there's so many people going through breakups right now. It seems like this is like breakup season. So let's get straight to it. All right, guys. So. It's pretty much no secret that I just went through like a pretty like psycho breakup. Pretty crazy. The chick was, she, she, she was crazy. But there are still some positives that I could take away from even being in a toxic relationship like the one I was just in. And I want to talk about it because if you're watching this video, then you may or may not have just going through one like mine. And you probably, you just need some advice. So here's some positive takeaways that you could take away from being in a toxic relationship. And I'm also extremely hungry, so I'm about to go to Saladas because my stomach is like gurgling. Okay guys, so one takeaway that you can take that's positive is that you definitely now know what you don't want in a relationship. That is something that I'm taking into great consideration because there are certain things that I didn't realize that I didn't want from a partner. And now that I've experienced it, it's like, dang, you know, like, I didn't realize that I don't like arguing as much, like arguing every day and then going to bed, like not happy with each other or spending a certain amount of time not talking about it or even just having every conversation that you have that ends up being negative and you don't know how to work it out. Having someone who doesn't try to work it out in every conversation with you is like one of my new pet peeves. There's no way I can see myself being with somebody who doesn't at least try. So that's how you have a takeaway that's positive. You know, you can be able to, you can start being able to nip that in the bud before you even meet with somebody or before you even start dating someone, you can start nipping that in the bud. Like, man, do you hold grudges? Are, are, are you a, are you a, are you a grudge holding person? Because there's no way I could be with you because you're going to keep holding on to every mistake that I make from this point on throughout an entire relationship until it eventually builds up so high that it just collapses. And I'm going to be entirely pissed because at that point I've probably built a lot of stuff around our relationship. And now it just has to go completely away because you're mad. Finally got my salada. So, <clears throat> Dang, I had another point to make, but I forgot what I was going to make because everybody's staring at me as I'm vlogging and stuff. So I'm trying to remember exactly what the next point was supposed to be. But man, just had some great food. One message that I, I do want to share that I saw inside of Salada was that um, they said if you eat good, you look good, then you can feel good. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm starting to eat a lot healthier and work out more is like just feeling good is like really where I want to be, man. What is all this stuff on my car? Okay, so I remember that point that I wanted to make as I was walking out of Salada, and that is that 
another positive takeaway from a toxic relationship is in a sense it did kind of make you stronger you know it lets you know that what, what your limits are it lets you know that what you can take how much you can and how much you can't take you learned a lot about yourself and that's something that i'm never going to forget is the experiences in this toxic relationship and how i know i will never let nobody put me through that again and i don't know if it's just me but i only could like eat half of my actual wrap like i haven't been as hungry as I usually used to be now that I've been working out like I'm like eight weeks into working out now and I just I thought usually I'm like really hungry but this time around I've been like eating less I don't know I don't know what that really means all right guys and here's like one of I think probably the biggest takeaways from being in a toxic relationship and that is you now have all of this freedom to go do all those things that you love to do you know what I'm saying like everything in your life that you've been putting on hold because that's really what toxic relationships do to you they make you feel like you can't be happy because you can't do the things that you love doing so now go do those things that you've been wanting to do like for me as you guys can see i'm vlogging way more the person that i was with used to always make me feel horrible for vlogging or horrible for wanting to be a guy who can make money from using videos so with that said Make sure you go do all those things that you said you've been wanting to do and that person been holding you back. Just go do that shit. But hey, you know what? I do find it funny that the person that I was just with made me feel like crap for being like a vlogger and stuff. But now all of a sudden that person is starting to get into vlogging and making videos about travel. It's crazy, man. Here's what it is. All right, guys. So I'm back at work. I just want to give you guys a few tips on how you can, you know, pretty much recover from like a crazy relationship. Me, I'm about to get back to work, eat my food, and I'm gonna holla at y'all later. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, finally made it home, but I still want to just continue to talk about this whole like positive takeaways that you guys can take away from actually having or going through a toxic relationship like I did, man. Um, I'm actually more towards um, not feeling as bad as I used to about the whole situation because when the break officially happened, it really kind of crushed me. You know, it really had me feeling like sick in my stomach. I wasn't even going to sleep for full night rest. I was like, you know, waking up three o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, like literally every single day, at least for about two weeks. And then on top of that, I kept finding myself somehow starting to message this person or getting into conversations with this person over and over again, which was a horrible, horrible decision. Pro tip, never try to have a conversation with your ex, especially when y'all just broke up because the only thing that person's gonna do is just spill so, many, so much hate and toxicity into you that it's gonna drive you crazy. But with that said, I just wanna say this, man. Sometimes relationships can really suck, but at least now you know some of the things that you can work on for yourself to better yourself so later on when you meet another person or that right person, you'll be a lot better off for that person. For me, I think some of the takeaways for me is being a better listener, which is something that I gotta try to work on for sure. Another thing for me is I wanna be in better shape because I wanna be able to take my shirt off whenever. So I'm constantly in the gym right now. I'm actually eight weeks strong. I was actually kinda already working on that before the breakup even happened. But I'm definitely not falling off now for sure. I really, really wanna get a solid year in to see you know, how good of shape I can actually get in within a year. And one last thing I gotta tell you guys before I head out for tonight, probably gonna be a whole other YouTube video for that specific situation, is that don't be afraid to use this time to better yourself and study, you know, the rules of engagement when it comes to relationships. Like me, I'm actually starting to literally study, study, you know, the mind of like women and like how they think and stuff like that. Like I'm watching YouTube videos about like, how to be like a, a more interesting guy, uh, a more lovable guy, stuff like that. Just understanding like, like for example, I'm learning to not be the first person to qualify myself within a relationship when I'm having, whenever I'm having a conversation with the opposite sex. Because when you kind of like put all your cards out there too soon, too fast, it kind of messes up the chase, messes up the energy because now she knows what she want and it's kind of boring, you know, it's, it's better off to just kind of leave a little mystery there at the same time, show slight interest, as far as like, you know, willing to have more conversation with this person, but it don't mean that you gotta just go ham and be just like, oh, I want you right now. Like more than likely, you're not gonna get what you want if you say what you want. Just be quiet, man, and just let it come to you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, I'm about to go off because I got some things to do tonight. That's gonna be in another vlog. You guys are gonna see it. I'm gonna continue to drop daily videos on this channel. 
and possibly my YouTube channel as well. Probably just clips on YouTube. But I'm having a blast, man. Honestly, at first I was hurting like crazy. Then I kind of had to accept it. And now I'm starting to realize, you know, getting out of a toxic relationship isn't as bad as I thought it was. It's actually like dodging a bullet in a way because now, like I said earlier in the video, I have all these things that I've been really wanting to do and I felt so under pressure to not be able to do it and, and I felt so judged in that relationship to now that, to now realize that I can actually just go do those things without worrying about anybody or anything. Um, I have a lot of things planned, a lot of things scheduled that's coming up and I can't wait to take you guys with me along with this journey I'm still healing. Still gonna be making cinematic vlogs, but every now and then I'm still gonna talk to you guys directly like I am right now. I appreciate all the love, especially on Instagram. I've been getting a lot of love on Instagram. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna try to put like a little lower third in here. Um, or if you guys, or if I, or depending on where I'm actually posting this video, it might be in the description or in my bio or something like that. But yeah, let me go ahead and go get ready for my night. I'll see you guys later on tonight or maybe tomorrow within the video, whenever I drop this. And the last thing that I wanna say, I think people are about to come in the house, is that if you're just now getting into the breakup stage right now with whoever you're with, one pro tip, huge tip that I would tell you guys, all those things that you think that person is doing, go do them too. If you feel like they're out here dating, go date too. The world is endless in possibilities of people you could be meeting, people you could be making great relationships with, and trust me, there are thousands and millions and billions of very gorgeous people out there that you can go meet and just replace them with whatever you thought you already had. I promise you, there's always somebody better. Tr trust me, matter of fact, you'll see. Just watch my next video. Watch the next one. See you guys later. Peace.